Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just wanted to show you this fabulous butterfly card because I just thought it was super amazing and, um, and I had so much fun creating it. So it is actually done in the Blackberry Bliss, which is one of the old uh, in colors. So you can always, um, you know, get some of that maybe on the clearance rack or you could always use any color combination that you would like. So this color here though is, um, is that Blackberry Bliss as well as the Hello Honey. Um, my husband, whenever I snapped a picture and sent it to him at work, um, he actually thought it was orange and black. So if you think it looks orange and black and you love it, then you can go for those colors too. I just wanted to use up some of those in color colors. And um, if you notice, the background here, the white, is actually embossed with that fabulous fluttering embossing folder. So there's like the background is embossed and has that nice texture of butterflies. And then we have this gorgeous butterfly here and it can kind of, you know, pop forward and everything like that. So you can see, you know, it's kind of popped up and everything. Super fun and like I said, you could really use this with any color combination. So I started with a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and that measures four inches by five and a quarter, and you'll want to use the butterfly framelit. Now, you could use the bold butterfly framelits, which is just the outline image, or you could use the butterfly thinlets, which is what I actually used for this one because I recreated the card again so see, I have this right here, and I popped that out, and I recreated another card that I will be posting um, soon, and this one actually uses this reverse image. So you'll definitely want to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that one. But I made um, two cards, and they use like the different pieces from each of the cards. So I went ahead and I actually used this butterfly thinlet um, to cut out my whisper white piece there, so that I could use that whisper white butterfly for another project. So I die cut that and I just kind of did it a little crooked just because to get it perfectly straight probably wouldn't happen. So I went ahead and did that and you know butterflies are kind of you know flooding by off to the side. So, so you'll want to die cut that first then you'll run it through the uh, fluttering embossing folder and I just put mine in and sort of again did it a little diagonal and just kind of put it in like that so that you know my butterflies would be kind of all over and, and fluttering by. So you'll run that through the big shot and then you'll have this fabulous piece. So you can go ahead and you can adhere that with your snail adhesive. And I added a little bit, you know, like real close to the butterfly just uh, for a little bit of extra secureness. And I'm going to take a piece of two and a half by three and a half and that I just took um, the framelit and just kind of laid it down to get, um, you know, a base for the size of that. And then that is just going to go right back here. And then that will cover up to create that beautiful background. Um, if you wanted it to be purple, you could always leave it purple and then create your framelit um, in a different color, like the yellow or something. And then you can just trim that off. Since mine's diagonal, you know, you're not really sure how much you need. So you can just trim that little piece off. And then you have that fabulous butterfly peeking through up front there, just like that. Now to adhere my butterfly, I actually just used um, some mini glue dots. So I have my purple framelit. And so again, you will want to use the butterfly thinlets for this one. So I have my little purple butterfly that's all nice and beautiful, which of course I use my Big Shot die brush to pop out all those little pieces. And I'm just gonna put a few of the mini glue dots um, down that center of the butterfly just so that I have a nice strong hold. And then I will place this right inside that little piece there. And then now we're ready to place this on our card front. And of course you can always add any kind of greeting that you want. Here I use the Crazy About You and I did it on another piece of that um, Hello Honey but I stamped it in the Blackberry Bliss and then added a little bit of the satin ribbon. And then for this one I actually used a strip of the rhinestones but I thought this one I would go ahead and I would use a strip of pearls just to kind of mix it up and you know you always have those little leftover pieces of all those strips so I thought well why not. So we're just gonna add a little strip down here. Oh, it looks like I have like 
too, too many. There we go. So there, are, this one I have pearls, this one I have rhinestones. They're both super fabulous. And that is how I created this gorgeous butterfly card. Again, I use that white piece to create another card and I'll just give you a little sneak preview of that one. And that's this card here. You can see that I use that white butterfly that I die cut from this piece for this card. And I'll be posting a video tutorial on that. So again, be sure to subscribe uh, to my channel so you don't miss out on that. Of course, I'll be posting pictures of both these and this other one on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you'll want to check that out as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.